the number one best free alternative to Dragon Naturally Speaking. 2023 Best Dictation Software. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, let's go check it out. So what makes Dragon Naturally Speaking unique to other voice typing softwares? Well, quite simply, with Dragon Naturally Speaking, you can type pretty much anywhere on the computer. If you want to do it on Notepad, you can do it on Notepad. If you want to be able to dictate on a blog, you can. If you want to be able to dictate on a comment section somewhere, or you want to be able to dictate on an email, you can do all of that. Now, that's where Google Chrome's voice typing is limited. It can only do it within its own application. As well as Microsoft Office Dictate can only do it within its own application as well. Now, they're really good softwares and they do voice type very, very well. And I do think Microsoft Office dic voice dictation is exceptionally good, but they're only limited to their own particular application that they can't do it anywhere else. So this is where this particular software comes in handy. Okay, so here we are at Lily Speech. Now I've done a video on Lily Speech in the past, and but I didn't really cover every aspect of it. So I'm gonna try and cover more aspects of it that people were really asking questions about. Now, let's go down and have a look at what they are. Now, you can download this for free and I'll go onto the other screen in a few minutes and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, we'll go down here and we'll have a look at some of the important points. Now, it says here it's 99.5% accurate because it's powered by the Google Chrome speech to text software and dictation software, and you can also use custom words. It's lightweight, which means it doesn't take up a lot of space on your hard drive, which means it doesn't slow it down, and it is completely free. Now, the reason why it's completely free is because they use it to do market research in the background. Now, if you don't want to have that market research, all you need to do is go over and pay $29.99 for that. If you don't like your privacy being invaded like that and you want to be able to get rid of that aspect of where they're doing market research in the background, then you can just pay $29.99 a year without any market research in the background whatsoever, which means you'll be able to do this completely private without any real issues. Okay, so also I wanna just talk about things like Google Docs. Now, Google Docs, I mean, there's no point in using it in Google Docs because Google Docs has their own voice dictate section, which is literally called voice typing. So all we need to do is go over here, click on that, and wait for this to wake up for a second. We'll re-click it in just a second. Click on that, and then we go down to where it says voice typing, and once we find that, we can start using it. There it is. You click on that, and then you can start dictating if you wish to. Let's go down here. How now, brown cow? Full stop. Now that's fantastic for when you're wanting to dictate into this particular document. You don't have to use Lily Speech for this particular one, but Lily Speech can be used anywhere else on the internet. You can also choose to go to Microsoft Office Word if you wish to, and you can use the dictate section in that, or you can choose to use a text document like this one here, and you can use Ch Lily Speech to dictate into your text doc if you wish to. Okay, so let's now go on over, let's go over and have a quick look at what Lily Speech looks like. And we'll jump on the other screen and have a look at that. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to download the actual software itself. And when you do download it, you'll be given the option to use this here, which is add icon to desktop, which I would highly suggest you do because it makes it a lot easier. Now that icon can be positioned anywhere up and down the screen. Unfortunately, I can't put it on my other screen because it just isn't going to let me do it. However, I can position it in different locations by hitting this one here, launch tab position. Click it here and I can go to top, the very, very top right hand side as you can see. And as you go down, you can see where it places it a little bit further down, or you can take it down to 80, which is down the very, very bottom. Or if you're like me, just have it halfway along 
it would be much easier because I find that if I have it all the way to the top, the scroll bar gets in the way and I keep turning on the speech to text when it's up here. So I choose to put it about halfway down and there's usually no issues then. Okay, so when also what we need to do is have a look at the various aspects. Now you can choose to go United States or 51 other languages. I'm choosing to go to the United Kingdom or you can even choose Australian, whichever one you want. I might even go Australian, but I think in my case, yeah, Australian will do. Now, it may ask me to restart it. Usually when you first get it, it'll go Control D, but I use Control D for other things. So I made it Control T as in Control Talk. So that's what I did with this one. And you can also, I use Choose Your Microphone, which is in this case, my Yeti. Now, also two over here, the text send method. Now I prefer to type it rather than have it paste it. Now over here, you got normal Control N, you got cap case mode, shift and up so in other words if you want to go capitalize you just go control you just hit shift and then hit the up arrow and over here you got title case control up lowercase control down and numbers is control one you can use custom words if you have things like jargon or anything like that you can add those custom words in there you can also add your icon to the desktop like is what i've got here you can have a look at the license and you can also restart Lily speech or you can quit it and that will remove this from the system altogether now as i said if you don't want to have any research in the background then you can turn that off by purchasing the license for 29.99 a year okay so let's go and have a look at how good this is i'm going to be leaving this on type because that's my preference but i will also show you you got Text preview by mouse, which is the one I usually use, or you can use the preview window. Let's have a look at the preview window for a minute. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab this little part here, and I'm going to go control T. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so it didn't write it completely because I think because I changed the different mode. Full stop, new line. Okay. It does have a it does have a little X that you can click on to remove it if you wish to. Now I'm going to move this over here just a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. Now let's try this in the typing mode. In the one that was in that, we just hit this one. Now, as you can see, it missed the first word, the first letter of the thing, so that's okay. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so let's go down here and let's see whether or not I can use full stop in this one because Australians tend to use the word full stop, not period. And that goes for the English as well. So let's have a look at what we can do here. I'm going to try and do this again. I'm going to now go control T and then when I do hit control T, I'm going to then talk about, I'm going to say something and then say full stop at the end. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog full stop. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, full stop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I just hit control T to turn it off. What I might do is I might take it off there and go over to the UK, United Kingdom. And see how it goes with that. Because it didn't work on this particular case. Now let's try down here again. Maybe they're not aware that Australians use the term full stop, not period. Let's try this again and see how we go. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, full stop. Well, that's disappointing, full stop. It worked that time, full stop. But not that time, full stop. All that time, that's kind of funny, full stop. I think it's to do with how you say it. Maybe the way you tone your voice makes a difference on how it does it. Because I toned my voice downwards in a downward motion when I said the word full stop and then it worked as a full stop. But otherwise, if I just said the word full stop in a rather monotone voice, it continued going. Okay, so if you want to get your hands on Lily Speech, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Well, I hope that hopefully I covered a bit more in this particular video than I did in the last one. Now, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer it the best I can. I'll also leave a link for this in the description down below. It's free, so I won't be getting any commission on it. And if you want to use it, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. All right, guys. Okay, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon 
so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Right now, just to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And bye for now.